All right, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, what you have been waiting for, the power test of my Cattleman T2 in 22. But let's get, see if we can get some speed out of this thing. So, without any further ado, let's go live with this. I'm not aiming at a target right now. We are simply getting FPS, and let's make sure this thing registers. And see what we got here. 904 feet per second, and I did nail a target out there. Um, so that's pretty good. 904 feet per second in the cold. We're gonna do five shots. Bear with me, guys. Very cold day again, but and it does affect the FPS. 993 feet per second. Nine hundred and sixty-five feet per second, and I am hitting out at a hundred right now. I don't know where, but I can hear it hit the target. Nine hundred and seventy-four feet per second. And one thousand feet per second. This is with a full charge. Aim for the bull. I'll sit in the upper right corner. Man, this camera helps so much with zoom. There's one. Let's see if we can group it now. See what we got here. If the camera will hold. Bam. In the cold. And if I can fine tune this, I bet you anything I can make this better. Almost tack driving. You see that? This is for the doubters out there. Using the camera zoom. I'm really impressed with this camera. It's kind of cheating in a way, but let's see where they hit compared to the polymags. High. A little more velocity makes sense. Focus there. Boom. I don't know. I'd say she's pretty accurate. All right, guys, I don't think I got to prove this enough. Target. There's our target right there, folks. And I'm going to try to zoom in a little more. And there's where we're at. And I'm going to try to hit this target 50 yards. I'm just going to try to get a group. I'm going to dial this in after the video is over. Bear with me. This is so odd using a camera instead of my eye. Let's see here. Not too shabby. She's pretty close, at least. I'm pretty sure that one was in the bowl. I got a tremendous light shining on the camera right now, so I'm just kind of winging it. So if I'm off, I apologize. Three. Once again, this is 50 yards. Brownville Gun Club.
I honestly think this shoots a little better at more range, but I got to get it. I'm going to have to sight it in for that range. Right now, it seems to be sighted in for about 50. I actually, if I wanted to, I could bring this group over more, but I'm going to keep it right here and keep it grouping. I'm going to keep it, uh, I'll keep it like Fox News, fair and balanced. five shots let's see how this is let's keep going with it let's keep going with it if you're wondering what i'm running for the ammunition right now everybody's hated pellet the ruger super point and as you can see that wind's picking up right there let's roll with it with the wind and see how they penetrate that wind oh come on wind kick back up i'd say that's a pretty decent group I can see that wind blowing out there, so. Okay, let's go. You know what we got over here? We got a 30 yard target over here, somebody set up. Uh, we're gonna go for it. Let's see what we got here. We got a 30 yard target. Let me see if we can zoom in on it. Or back out of it, whatever I gotta do here. There we go. Let's take this zoom off the camera can there we go let's see what we can do here this is a 30 yard target but it's set up for 30 yards for meters let's see here let's see where we'll be at for 100 oh you see that fellers you see that, fellers? Let's try that again. This time I'm going to adjust for the wind a little bit. Oh, we're empty. All right, guys. Listen, that is about all we're going to do today. All right, guys. We are going to go for our target again. I'm going to pull the scope camera mount off the gun, and we are going to do this the old-fashioned way using my old eyeballs to see how it goes as well. I'm quite curious. I don't know if you can see the target. I tried to set this up so you could kind of get the target out there. I did move it in a little bit because I'm sick of walking, but let's see what, uh, what you guys think. Let me check out the camera real quick. Make sure you guys got a a perspective I guess you do yeah, we're about 40 yards so range finder saying I don't know if it should be on let's uh see what we can do here by old eyeball because I prefer eyeball personally there we are I like looking through my glass Let's there we go. Oh, we got a blowing target. I like the challenge. All right. A little high. Well, let's just get some groups here. That wind in this valley is pretty extreme right now. You can see the target blowing or not. Yeah, but it's, it's so close. I'm almost... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to adjust my scope. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, my target just blew up. Hold on. Bear with me, guys. I want to get a dead center target here. Let's see. 
Let's see if I can get one in the center. I don't know. I may have just went the wrong way. Hold on. So I just shot. Do not count that one because I double fed the gun. I was afraid that I did that. Okay, now we're going to try this bull. Yeah, I got a blowing up target again. Dead bullseye. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to try to repeat that. Now I figured out what dope to put on the scope. We're good to rock and roll. We're going to try to repeat that. Even in the wind. Bullseye. Very capable guns. Extremely capable. Target blowing up. Let's rip it off in between the blow-ups. Oh. Oh. I hit underneath the target. It flipped up. I pulled the trigger too quick. Tried to time. Okay. Going for another bull. Let's get this in the red. I want three in the red. Boom. Pack drove the target. Okay. And we're out. Okay, guys. There's target. I'm going to run out and grab it. Stay right there. All right, guys. So, turn in here. There's our target. Pay no attention to the one down on the left. That was the double feed. There is my bulls, and there's the ones that was stringing over, just feeling out the scope. I'm gonna set up another target, and we're gonna see just how we're gonna drop this gun down in bar. I want to keep using it in bar, lowering it to see how accurate it can can be. Let's pull it into about 30 yards this time. Okay, so we got target about 30 yards. I am curious what this is at for bar. I know it's got to be getting pretty low because, well, I haven't really been <laughs> charging it. So, and of course, I got a target that's blowing up. The wind's picking up, so I got to wait for this to kind of drop a little bit. I'll get sighted in though. So, bear with me. This is how it works when we. Okay, I got some flies out there. We're going to do flies. Let me be right back because I got to adjust that target. She's blowing up. I'll be right back. All right. This is for Air Gun Sniper Elite. He shoots flies. And uh, I think it's really neat. I'm not used to shooting real close. And I tell you what, the wind right here is crazy. Um, I don't know if my gun's really zeroed in good right now, but I'm going to try for a fly. Let's see if I can hit a fly. I hit the circle of the fly, but I didn't hit the fly that I was aiming for. So let me try for that same fly again. See if I can get that sucker. I've got the wind kicking up again. Well, I'm circling the fly. So let's hit the fly this time, Mike. I'm in the circle. So that's pretty cool. Now I'm outside the circle. Over adjusting. He's got a knack for doing this. Huh? Okay, I'm gonna go for a different fly now. Let's see if I can get the groove on in this gun. I got the fly. All right. Okay, there's one fly down. 
Two flies. This is fun. Oh, I got the wing. Three flies. <laughs> Let's go across here. It's getting better. Four flies. 30 yards. This is fun. I don't know if I'm killing the fly or taking the wings off, but let's do top row. Oh, we got target moment. Oh, I missed that fly. That wind kicked up. I really admire Harris. Um, just like for a week. Oh, we're in the circle, so I'm going to go down through and I'm going to show you these. I think we're out. I think I'm out. Oh, this is kind of fun, right? Let me load back up. We'll finish taking out these flies. I'll be right back. Maybe the short distance is, is better for this right now. <laughs> this is pretty fun. I, I am having fun. I'm not going to lie. So, look at how many flies have we killed. A few. How many flies have we missed? A few. So, we're going to pick up top row where I left off. On the edge of that circle. You can tell the power is uh, dropping a little bit. There's the fly. But, but we're in the circle, so I'm... I'm, I'm happy with that. So what do we do? We took out the first two rows. Now we're going to drop down to the third, third row. This is fun, guys. I like hitting flies. Missed that fly, but I'm just going to show you the results here as I'm working through. All right. I'm not going to do the last roll. Let's do something different. Let's do something different. Be right back. Well, I thought I had more targets, but I don't. So let's continue with the flies. Okay. Going down bottom. Bottom row. I don't think I've hit the bottom row at all. Bottom row. We're going to see, see how many flies. If I've gotten any better. How many flies can I take out on the bottom? The power's dropping off. I can tell the difference in sound. There's a fly. Yep. Power's dropping off. So I'm just adjusting a little bit. I'm just doing this fast. But I'm definitely in the circle. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Did I ever? I think I missed a fly. I did miss a fly. There's one fly that I didn't aim for. Top one. Okay. Or did I hit that? I don't, I don't know. Maybe I did. In the circle. Okay. Well, I am not hitting the flies dead on. Um, that's just a little adjustment in the scope. This is fun. This is cool. Um, I'm going to try. I mean, these. These flies are little. I'm going to try a trick shot. Let's do something fun. Let me see if I can hit something that's uh, really small. Okay, so what I have just done is I'm going to show you guys. Take you out with me. I just set up. We're going to see if this thing's pretty accurate. Let me show you my flies here. Hold on here. I know. Sorry. It's a walk. Let me show you the flies. There is the flies we're going for. Not too bad. So what I've set up is this little thing up here. And we're going to try to hit that. See if we can take that out. This is only 30 yards. But... Well, it's okay though. So 
So, we'll see if we can take it out. I gave myself four shots to do it. Maybe you can see out there. Yeah, I think that kind of. Okay, so let's see if I can hit that little stick. Shot number one. And I missed it. It's fun to try, right? Got it! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. All right. Let's go out and check it out. <laughs> they tell me the cattleman's not accurate. So funny. So I don't know what their idea of accurate is. Second shot, pretty accurate. Ta -da! Yeah, she's accurate. All right, let's get back under that cover. It's pretty windy out there if you've been watching, so it's a huge, big factor. But I'm going to go for blue top dot. Right next to it. I'm going to try that blue top dot center again. Well, if I can put that right in the middle of those, would be good. All right, I literally circled the dot. Okay, so let's try it one more time. Got it. There we go. Okay, I'm going to try. Let's just, I'm going to plug dots. These dots are a little. Okay, and there's two shots. Let's see how close we come to that. I'm going to keep grouping that once. I'm doing a crosshair one. I'll show you when I'm done here. It does group very well. If that wind would die, this would be very, very, very accurate. That grouping I'm shooting right, right now, this is the one I want to show you. And the wind's blowing, but I'm going to keep right on this target. Turn it down on. Power's dropping off, I can hear it. Now she's out. Okay. I will be right back with that paper. All right. These groups are very, very respectable in the wind. There's the top blue one that I was going for at first. And we'll drop down to that one. Very respectable. Um, that one's one of the first ones I tried, but I zeroed it in a little better. Very respectable. I'll give you an idea. These are very, very small, small little, I just want to say, that's about a little more than the, the grouping, the tight group on the inside is less than an inch. So maybe an inch in total. And this one here is even less. So it's pretty, it's a pretty decent group. It's cold. It's wind. And I got out here and I did it again for you guys today. Um, T2. Um, we're going to get some 100-yard shots, and as soon as it warms up, I'm not going to walk back and forth in the cold at 100 yards. I've been out here pretty long time. As you can see, my face is getting red. Um, and it's it's cold again, and it's affecting it affects a lot, the cold. So when I get this dialed in, I want to dial this in once. You know what I mean? So I'm going to have to do even more adjusting when the temperature warms up. But we're going to call it a day. And I thank you for watching MMB Airgun Review, and I hope this was fun for you.